Mike, Ursula, and their two energetic young kids love the fun and adventure of the lake. Oh, oh that is great. Oh, this is that beautiful. Is great. After many seasons of renting lakefront homes, they're ready to make the move and buy their own weekend getaway. Wow. Look at this. They know exactly what they're looking for in the property of their dreams. I was hoping for some shallow entry, maybe a little bit of sand for the kids to play. But the comforts of renting are a lot different than the realities of owning. Wow. This is what I need, right here. Are Ursula and Mike willing to make the sacrifices necessary to find their perfect vacation home? Wow. Whoa. This is kind of a small dining area. Time to find out what's for sale. <laughs> Ursula and Mike are seasoned vacation home renters. They've got two young kids and a large extended family. They like to have everybody up to their vacation home when they're renting. So now they've decided it's time to get into property ownership. I think this is a great time to move from renting to owning. I think the kids are at a great age right now where we can spend a lot of uh, family time. It's been more and more a part of our life. We see the way that our family is uh, when we're up at the cabin, and I think we just want more of that. Less of the TV, less of the bustle, more of the adventure, more of the creativity, more of the fun. Ursula and Mike have got a very strict wish list and a pretty healthy budget of $450,000. A lot of money, but they're not going to get the type of property they're used to renting. For me, what I, what's most important is, is the, definitely the waterfront, the lake. I'm hoping for some decent-sized bedrooms. We can at least put a few bunk beds in or some open living space where if we did have a lot of family in, we'd be able to throw some mattresses out and all have a great time and be together. I have to find these two a place that not just suits their family of four, but can sleep up to 15 people. Very difficult. A deal breaker for me would be a real deep entry with no kind of uh, smooth terrain for the kids to be able to go in and play and be safe around there. They know what they want. The challenge is, am I gonna be able to find it? I chose this first property to show Ursula and Mike because it is on a really nice lot and it's on a really big lake, which is very important to Mike. This wooded lot has three bedrooms, one bathroom, a gorgeous stone fireplace, and perfect western exposure for glorious sunsets. The asking price is $399,000. So, as you can see, this is a very classic cabin feel. You know, there's a lot of wood. Very airy. It's nice. Yeah, you like? it's open. Yeah, I like, I like it, it, actually. Okay, good. So the fireplace, you know, it's got this insert here. That's going to give off a lot of heat in the wintertime. Oh, fireplace. no, that's stunning. I actually like this fireplace. It's great. Yeah. Why don't you go look behind curtain number one? <laughs> oh, curtain. fabulous. Let's do that. <laughs> no doors in this place. Well, this is a nice bedroom. So obviously... The fireplace that you like so much is getting in the way of actually having a door. And so we have the curtains, yeah. right? That's okay, you can fix that. Do you notice the special feature right there? The takeout window. The takeout window. You know what, I wondered why they had that window there, but perhaps you could use it as a takeout window. You have two young kids, right? So when mommy and daddy are having quiet time in their bedroom, the kids can come up and be like... <laughs> <laughs> so this would be our bedroom? Well, I don't know, you it's know. It's not the master, is it? There are three bedrooms in this property, so the master in this place is going to be whichever one you want. Let's go see the rest of the property. Sounds Great. good. Follow me. So here we are in the kitchen. Perfect. You got running water, you got a stove, you got a fridge. You guys are pretty easy to please, actually. I mean, I thought when we talked about kitchens and how you have so many family members here, the size of this is going to be an issue. Perfect for me. Because <laughs> you don't cook. I don't... It's a good size. What else do you need? Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think, you know, for a property in this price range, you know, this is a good size kitchen. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. So, Rob, is this the only bathroom in the cabin? Yes, Ursula, this is the only bathroom. It would have been nice to have two, but I guess we can make this do. It's a nice size. Okay, but what's important here is that this place had a new septic put in in 2008. And it was put in big enough so that if you were to add on another bathroom, you could legally do it. That's great. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Let's check out the bedrooms. Lovely. So you have a bedroom there. This is uh, all you need. Gosh, this is a pretty nice size. Put a bunk bed in here. 
It's perfect. Okay, so there is a third bedroom, which is the exact same size as this one. So, you know, if we think about your family, we're sleeping, let's just say, four, eight, ten. So not bad, right? Not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Okay, so this is all your property here. This is nice. So you actually could open this up here and create some flat, usable space yeah. that faces the water. Oh, wow. How about this view? Wow, this is nice. Oh, this is stunning. Great. So this is rugged, you know, natural access. This is dangerous. I don't know how good this is for the kids. Okay, so stairs could be a solution. Now this is, uh, this is a bit of a liability. Here, here. Thank you. West Whoa, exposure, 145 feet of frontage, so your neighbor's way over there, so you have privacy at the waterfront. This is not much of a dock. It's not much of a dock, but what you could do easily, Mike, is you could put a ramp onto here, and then you could put more of a dock where your boat's going to be out that way, right? But there's, that's a ton now. I mean, like, first, first you need hiking gear to get down here. Okay. Uh, now i got to add a dock. Yes. Um, there is no shallow entry. There's no entry right now. I was hoping for some shallow entry, maybe a little bit of sand for the kids to play. Okay, so, you know, we did talk about this and how finding, you know, shallow, sandy entry and deep water could be very difficult. You know, but I showed you this place primarily because the view is fantastic. It's got west exposure, and I think you can make the waterfront work for you. Can you move the busy traffic? The boat traffic or the traffic no, traffic? No. The highway. Unfortunately, I cannot move that highway. But you know, this place was well under your budget, right? You really liked the home. Like you could see it working for you. The home was okay. So there's some positives, but there's some negatives, right? Let's go see something else. Absolutely. Sounds good. Overall, you know, it was okay. It was a good start. Uh, I think we definitely have to see a couple more. Um, I need something to compare this to, but there's some good and bad. The truth is, I didn't know how they were going to react to that highway. At the end of the day, this property offered so much of what they wanted. Sacrifices always have to be made. I just don't know which way this one's going to go. Mike and Ursula are ready to take the plunge from renting a lakefront home to owning one. Very airy. It's nice. Yeah, you like it's open. Yeah, I like, I like it. it. Actually. They love the classic cabin feel and the amazing views offered by the first property I showed them. Wow, this is nice. But the ruggedness and lack of privacy at the waterfront was disappointing. Can you move the busy traffic? So I'm taking them to this next property. It is a much different waterfront than property number one. It is on the same lake, but this place has a gorgeous sand beach and a much different, updated type of waterfront home. Sandy Beach Home is open concept with three bedrooms and one bathroom, and features a boathouse that can be easily converted to provide more sleeping space if necessary. The asking price is $424,000. Wow, this is nice. This is beautiful. Wow. Much different lot. Yeah. Yeah. This is right? very nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, we got a little sandy beach here. You wanted a sandy beach? I give you a sandy beach. Isn't oh. that nice? Oh, oh, oh. oh that is oh, great. This is that beautiful. Is great. Our kids would be in heaven. This would be heaven for them. They absolutely love this. Now, you know, having a sand beach like this is really coveted. So obviously, privacy is something that you're not going to get here. I was just going to say, it doesn't seem as private as the last. Uh... No. So how do you feel about that? I'm, I'm like not sure. That, right now, it uh, doesn't seem to be bothering me. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. We'll see. So the thing about having a sand beach like this on this lake is there is a sacrifice when it comes to the depth of the water. So where we are here in the bay, 30 feet out, you're probably only about three feet deep. That'd be far for the kids. I know they love to jump in deeper waters and have some fun and they'd have to go far out to be doing that. They would have to go pretty far out to be doing that. And not only that, but they probably will go far out and that's another problem, right? We don't want them to go that far. Safety-wise? Safety-wise, right? Yeah. Is that a boathouse? That's unusual for somewhere here. Yes, absolutely. So that is a boathouse. We don't have them on these lakes up here. So this is grandfathered in. What I like about it for you guys is you can convert it into a sleeping bunkie. Good. Sounds great. Awesome. You ready to see inside? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go. Okay, so nice entryway. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and big. 
works. And then we go right into open concept. Wow. Wow. Whoa. This is kind of a small dining area. Yes. I don't know if there's enough space for us to be able to sit and have dinner and have the whole family here. Yeah, and I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm not too impressed with the decor. Like the cabin? Well, you could paint these, yeah. change the hardware, yeah, right? Yeah, and the tiles. What about how close we are to the water? No, the water is fantastic. I mean, for, for our uses though, the size of the kitchen, as far as the eating area, as well as the actual kitchen. I, uh, I almost I almost prefer a closed off kitchen if this is how it's going to be. I actually like that I could be prepping and be able to see the kids at the water if I had to do so. Good point. Kind of nice. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Living room. Oh, this is actually a nice space. So we've got a wood-burning stove. Mm -hmm. That's going to generate a lot of heat. It's good because the windows aren't going to keep it in. This is a very good point, Mike. Those windows definitely would need to be replaced if you're using this place for season. It's roomy, that's for sure. Absolutely. I love the fact that you can, again, see the water from yeah. anywhere in the living room, which is nice. And there's a lot of light that comes in. That's good. Yep. The one thing is, is it's really, there is no real separation, yeah. right? So if the kids are in here, that's our spot at that table then there's really not much else right right but at the same time you guys are used to renting much larger type of waterfront homes and at the end of the day you know while you have a good budget it's only going to get us so much space it's true all right see the rest of the place after you sounds good oh it's a decent washroom Oh yeah, it is. And again, this is the only washroom in the cabin, right? Yes, I know ideally you wanted two washrooms, but it's really hard to find. No, this this will do. Uh, this I don't see a problem with it at all. So here we have oh a great size bedroom. Yeah, this is Absolutely, this is this yeah. is pretty good. So this property has three bedrooms. This is by far the largest bedroom. So I'm not sure if you would use it as your master bedroom. Um, there's a second bedroom right next to the washroom. And then the other bedroom was as we came in through the main door, there's a smaller bedroom right. there with bunk beds. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I've saved the best for last. This property has a really great feature that I absolutely love. It's outside. So let's go out. Perfect. Oh, wow. Okay, so there wasn't a lot of dining space inside, but here, this would make a great outdoor dining space. This is perfect. Actually, it's nice. This, uh, this changes things a bit. Yeah, this space definitely makes up uh, for the space that we don't have in, inside the cabin. So we can definitely see us all sitting here and enjoying a nice barbecue. Absolutely. I think now that Mike and Ursula have seen everything this property has to offer, they're starting to realize that this could be the property for them. But I do still have one more to show them. It's going to be very different and very interesting to see how they react. Mike and Ursula and their young family are on the hunt for lakefront fun and adventure, a short drive away from their big city home. Oh, this is stunning. Their plan is to shift from renting to owning, and they're searching for a lakefront home that not only suits the four of them, but can also occasionally sleep the whole extended family. Gosh, this is a pretty nice size. Put a bunk bed in here. The first home I showed them had the space for guests that they were looking for, but the access to the waterfront was a little too rocky. This is dangerous. I don't know how good this is for the kids. The sandy beach at the next location won their hearts. Wow, this is nice. Although the lack of deep water was disappointing. So I'm taking them to this next property because I think it's situated on the perfect lot. It has a sandy beach and deep water with plenty of privacy. Pointed Lot is a four-season, three-bedroom cabin situated on 2.4 acres of treed beauty. The asking price is $349,000. And... Wow. Pretty nice space. So we do have, you know, the dining room here, the kitchen here. What what was that? I feel like I'm going over a little yeah, mountain. Yeah, a little, little, little slope. You feel the floor's a little yeah. uneven. Okay, yeah. let's keep in mind, this is well below your budget. Right. In fact, the asking price is $100,000 below your budget. So, you know, when we look at this place, you know, there's definitely some things you're going to change. Yes. Um, but at the end of the day, I think this place has a lot of potential for you. 
The dining space is nice. I can We can put a, a pretty big table here and fit us all nicely for dinner. Okay. So what do you think of the kitchen? It's not real functional. I think I have to look past the kitchen right now and think of it as something that would have to be redone. It's spacious, mm -hmm. so there's opportunity here, but not the way it is. Okay. Okay. Living room. Notice anything? Oh, I immediately Let's love the views. The water. Right, so we're actually only probably about six feet from the water. It's nice to see this, uh, finally, and, and uh, like that's, that's what we're here for, right? Uh, right. I'd like to see a little bit more of it, though. Mm -hmm. I, I just think that the way it's laid out just doesn't lend itself to the views. So my opinion on this place, because it is so under your budget, is that the current layout would not work for you and that we literally would be looking at a complete gut job. There's definitely a lot of room in the budget to do something like that. My concern would be time. We have the time. You know. Right. I mean, it's different up here getting contractors yeah. than it is in the city, right? I mean, yeah. this is something that a local contractor could probably do for you in four weeks. Wow. Sounds you know? good. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a bright room. Oh, wow, it is. That's the view we've been looking for. Exactly. So there's two bedrooms in this place that are on the front that have amazing views of the water. Yeah. The third bedroom is right off the dining room. Still does need a lot of work. You can see how the ceiling's pretty uneven and mm -hmm. it's gonna need uh, a little bit of TLC. Yeah, the costs are starting to add up. There, yeah. there's room. Good. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this. This is a classic example of you can change the home, you can't change the lot. And this is a spectacular lot. This is a beautiful sandy beach. This could really work. Absolutely, I totally see the kids playing here. Is there a dock here, Rob? I've saved the best for last with this lot. We're actually on a point. Perfect. Sounds great. Follow me. Wow. This is what I need, right here. That is great. What I thought you could do is since we're so under budget, you could put a permanent deck right here, attach a ramp, have your dock going out there, then you've got the deep water off the dock, and you have the sandy beach. It's got everything. Got the best of both. The lot is perfect. So how big is this lake? So this is what I consider to be a small lake. So the first two properties that you saw were on large lakes where you can do lots of boating and such. This lake, you can do, you know, a decent amount of motorized sports like water skiing, tubing, but it would literally take you probably 15 to 20 minutes to boat the length of this lake. Right. That's what a lot of buyers really need to think about when it comes to getting a waterfront home. How big of a lake do you really need? Yeah. Rob is not gonna make this easy for us. We had a big wish list and I think between all three properties, he nailed all of them. Uh, but not one property has everything. So we really have to think about what's the biggest priority on our list. Uh, you know, is it the lake size um, or is it the lot? Oh, wow. Mike and Ursula are ready to make the move from renting lakefront homes to buying a dream property of their own. The lot is perfect. I've done my best to show them some prime examples of what's out there in their budget range. Well, this is a nice bedroom. And I think they'll have to make some tough choices when it comes to their detailed wish list. This changes things a bit. There's definitely a lot to consider given the three very different properties we've seen. Now it's time to make a decision. Okay, Mike and Ursula, probably the best thing for us to do at this point is review the three properties and see where we're at. So why don't we start with property number one, which um, was under your budget at 399000 so what are your thoughts on that property? We really like that one. I, I love the uh, rustic feel. Mm -hmm. It was uh, a, a large property, which I liked. The view from the cottage was fantastic. I love the open space and the uh, big dining area, and uh, the bedrooms were great size as well. But the waterfront was a little dangerous getting down there, and then there was the traffic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we went to property two, which was on the same lake, away from the highway, that had the great sand beach. So what did you think of that place? Uh, going in, I really I liked that place. I thought it was a great place for the kids to play around. I love the fact that we can get great views from anywhere, pretty much in the cabin. The bedrooms were a great size, happy with that. The downside to that, I think, was there wasn't a lot of space in the kitchen for us to eat. Although, we, you did show us that great sunroom, which could add additional space for us. Mm-hmm. What about the lot? 
Yeah, the lot was a little bit smaller. Um, it, it was. It would require a lot more maintenance because it was. It was grassy, but it also didn't have the privacy. So. No. Plus, it didn't have the deep water, right? Because we True. were in that bay. So then, I brought you to property three, which was significantly under your budget. Yeah. You know, but required a lot of renos. But I loved that lot. What are your thoughts? So you can't beat that lot. And uh, walking up to the peninsula there, that was fantastic. The views were beautiful, the deep water, the sandy beach as well, and privacy. I mean, it was really remote. Mm -hmm. It was a great property, but uh, the cabin itself does need a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And we weren't planning on doing that much work to it, so we really have to think about uh, if you're going to do all that work. Okay, so, you know, if you were to eliminate one of them, would you be able to do that pretty easily? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. So which one would you take out of the mix? I think for me, the deal breaker is property one, yeah. that traffic and that noise okay. in that area, and uh, just the steps going down to the water. Just wasn't safe. To me, it okay. doesn't seem very safe. So that leaves us with two properties um, on two very different lakes. Property two is on a big lake, big lake chain, property three on a very small lake. Yeah, I think, you know what, the, the big lake uh, is definitely something that uh, was on our wish list, mm -hmm. but so is privacy. Mm -hmm. uh, and one has it and the other one doesn't. Uh, so that's probably the biggest two factors between the two properties that, uh, that we had to consider. Okay. So are you ready to make a decision? Do you think that either of those properties are actually a good option for you and your family and your extended family? I think, uh, I think we are uh, ready to make that choice, yeah. I think, uh, Rob, we've decided that we're going to go with property number three. Great. That's awesome. I love that lot, and I know that you guys are going to be able to turn that home into the perfect vacation home. Yeah. We're looking forward to having those views and to making that home uh, fit for us. Excellent. Thank you. Can't wait to see it. I'm super excited. Absolutely. We're going to have a lot of fun and a lot of great memories.